What is up all my heroes, Kuro here, and I'm bringing you a new series called Rebuild Gangs of Deads, Deadville, Deadsville. Yeah, so it's basically, that Rebuild is basically Sim City, but with zombies essentially. So, um, this is a new game that just came out this month, really. And, so yeah, let's start, um, so, I don't really care about this, the name, Richard... Slayer, who knows? I don't. I, I. I really don't care at this point. So um, yeah, let's work on this. Sure, why not? Um, so basically, we can choose between our gender, our heads, legs, torso, and jobs. So let's look at the jobs: politician, leadership, and one extra survivor. Equipment: top hat. Shop clerk: scavenging and 25% better trades. Equipment: crowbar. Doctor, science and negative one day, day injury, recovering time, equipment, doctor's bag, retiree, building and yeah, 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 let's be, it's interesting, we get an office, we get a pistol, why not, yeah, let's be a police officer, okay, so basically, we're going to, um, try to reclaim the city from the zombies. Okay, this is the tutorial basically. I what's the word for it? I diddled with this a bit. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you, Richard. This town's seen this town's seen better days. It's overrun by the undead. And we've been living in fear for years, but with your help, it's time to take to make a stand. Click and drag the map around. Our goal is to reclaim 150 of the darker buildings and restore Palvia. Oh yeah, I forgot to change it. I'm just gonna call it Pal. To the city it once was. Click a couple of buildings, see what's in them. Okay, let's click this. This is a mall. People used to spend hours aimlessly shuffling around these temples of commerce. Nothing's changed. Hey, okay, so we could basically see how much zombies are here, how much survivors are here, the food, and the materials, resources, basically. So these are the survivors we have currently. So, okay, every survivor learned one skill. One skill, builder, builders by building, leaders by leading, and so on. They could change by training at school. You're special, you're special, uh, you're special, Richard. You can improve all five skills. Okay, so, uh, oh, wow, I already got the on my head. Um, weapons, items, okay. Done, I guess. Let's check this out. Does he have any special weapons? Nah. So I'm the only one with a gun right now. Seeing as how I got a gun, let's send this, let's send this out. Okay, so, every building has different missions to choose, and every survivor has a specialty. Anyone can go out and shoot at Zeds, but soldiers, red-colored, are naturally best at it. Okay. So, let's do that. Okay, so, yeah. Other survivors, we should recruit them, assuming we have enough house and food for them. Leaders like you are better at recruiting, at recruiting missions. Okay. So, to be safe. We're gonna, okay, so basically, to make the timer go, we're going to, um, hit the go button. So as you see here, it says time and day, we're on day 1.0. When we hit go, things are gonna accelerate really, really quickly. <clears throat> so I'm going to go make them reclaim some area so that we can, like, because I, I basically dabbled with this a lot. I, like, beat the game already and everything. I just thought, hey, why not record it, because I'm kind of lazy fuck. <laughs> Uh, let me play whatever's on my computer, you know, basically. Oh, the recruitment failed. That sucks. Okay, so basically, there's like little in-game dialogue a bit. Not like people talking, but you got right. I mean, this might not be that exciting to some people, but I mean, I like it because it's like a strategy in this game, really. So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, so we might be working with 12 minutes here for this video because I don't want to bore you guys to death, like, really. Okay, so while this is going, um, let's take a stroll. Ooh. Okay, so see this down here? That's a big, okay. Huge farm produced 4.5 foods every day and make an impressive corn maze in autumn. In the autumn. Ooh, autumn. Autumn. We won't know what's in, okay, scouting. We won't know what's in the building until we send someone to scout it. Scouting also reveals how many zombies are milling around there. It makes later missions safer. 
Okay. So what we should do next is we should take back the mall. This, this, and that. Simple. Okay, yeah, it's like this is what I was talking about. Little hobo. I met a strange dog digging outside the walls today. A handsome German shepherd with a blue bandana. When I approached him, he gave me a friendly bark, wagged his tail, then barked again like he wanted me to come over. I took a look at the hole he was digging. Turns out, turned out it found a whole bunch of turnip plants. We'd never know this. After he showed me, after he showed me his finds, the fellow wandered off. I think I'll call him London if I ever see him again. Richard Slayer. So yeah, it's more faster to replane this, these areas, when um, you're together with a bunch of people. So yeah, what we should do next is we should aim for this, the mall, and etc. Okay, you see how that's done? Okay, so... Oh yeah, that, this building down here is really funny. I want to show you. <clears throat> Okay, clothing store. Trashy revealing clothing for your darling angel's teenage daughter. Just, I just found that personally amusing. I'm sorry. Okay, we should really. Oh, okay, so you see how that? See how it's only been like two minutes and it's already day nine? Day ten, actually. See that smiley by your face on the left? That's the average happiness for our survivors. If it's low, people might get, might refuse to work, or worse, churches. Or worse, churches, bars, and time off missions make people happier. Okay. <clears throat> okay, yes. Also, in this game, it's called Gangsville. So, there's different gangs. We can either conquer it, or we can get them to agree to let us lead. Other factions have their own four-tier pal, and they aren't necessarily friendly. If they like us, they'll send us trading convoy. If not, we'll have to watch out for raiders. Okay. It looks like capitalism is still alive, and well, and well even with that... The undead chewing at what is left of society. A merchant named Gustava has, has set up a temporary camp at the graveyard just next to our fort. It looks like he, he has food of all sorts of trade and even a few more exotic items to boot. His bodyguards are a little intimidating though. They, liable, they are liable to get rough with you if you get too close to any women traveling with the caravan. Well, unless you are willing to pay for the privilege. Maybe 14 minutes. Who knows? Okay, so basically... Uh, okay. Survivor. Okay, we found a man not far from our gates, where, where he'd been hiding out from the zombies for days. We suggest our fruit might be a bit safe than the garbage bin he was crouched inside when we found him. He seemed a little skeptical. Every ward will be a welcome. Will will be a welcome addition. Uh, addition to our happy clan. He says he'd like to settle here for a while and. Pal, the weather is nice, the walls look strong, and it beats running for your life alone in a city full of the undead. Good, we got a new person. So, with that new person, what we should be able to do next is we should be able to, like, claim this, right? Okay, so mainly my main goal is to get this and that apartment by the end of the video, really. And we're running good on time, actually, so yeah. <coughs> Okay, now that we reclaim the church, the thing with these, ooh, we're not strong enough. We shouldn't really fuck with them unless we're good. So, um, let me look for a gun, actually. Let's see, Colin, wire. Dude didn't come with a gun or something, really? Huh, that's awkward. Okay, so, wait, okay. Zombies are massing out our, at our walls. They will attack the wickets adjacent building soon. The danger soon Icon at the bottom left shows how bad it will be. It's not that bad, but we should still fuck this up. So yeah, we're killing 56. As you can see, it's not really like graphical. It's more like strategies in a way. Okay, so yeah, the main thing you want to do is you want to make sure that these, these fuckers don't really get your walls. Okay, you see how... Yeah, uh, let's let her stay here. <clears throat> Lone traveler over dinner. The traveler shared stories of the world to the south. It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound like they are farm faring much better down there than we are. And a lot of cities were completely leveled in the fighting. She and her dog are headed north in the hopes that colder winter will slow the Zeds down. 
Oh yeah, by the way, they're not called walkers, they're called Zeds in this. So all you Walking Dead fans, sorry. Okay, if someone gets injured, luckily for them, it wasn't worse. They'll have to spend a few days recovering before they can work. People recover faster in hospitals. You know how that police always used to tell us how dangerous old ammo is? What the fuck kind of name? Tetsuya, Tetsuya Foster found a discarded box of that stuff. Of the stuff while we were killing zombies and it went off in his face. I think he should be okay. I love how it's in like capital capital like okay in a few days but it will be a little while before you can hear clearly clearly in that ear left okay, yeah so as i was saying i want to reclaim like this building and this building and that building hold on one second guys okay so basically in this game we gotta make tough as hell decisions about our people this is one of them which saddens me a stray mutt broke into one of our houses and almost took Gennard's hand off. Before he cart gave the dog skull in with a fireplace pick. Po oh, poker. It's a shame three years ago these dogs were somebody's pet, but now they're feral as wolves in the des desperation to survive. We're awful short of meat, and it's a decent sized dog. Should we eat the stray? Guys, we are at zero food at the moment. Yeah, we're eating the dog. I don't think that was the healthiest beast and the meat was a little gamey, but at least we'll, we still have the strength to stand come tomorrow. So I'm going to pause it. I'm going to do what I need to do to get this farm first. Then I'm going to unpause it, okay? Okay, so yeah, just another thing. Didn't I mention that people need to eat? Running out of food upsets people and may stop working. Leave the city or even die. Scavenge or reclaim a farm so we have something to eat. Okay. We buried Garrett under that pine tree. He used to sit under. I hope he's in a better place now. So I'm on the pause. We're, we're, uh, we're reclaiming this right here, okay? And then we're waiting. So yeah, I don't want to waste like real time because this is like a test video. So yeah. Okay, this is another thing that this the, um this game does. It has a gambling system in a way with Gustavo. When he comes around, he either sells you girls equipment, etc., or you could gamble with him to get food and whatnot. Okay, so let's bet ten on that. Yeah, let's just keep betting on this. I mean, after a certain amount of times. I slapped another 10 chips on the table, but Rita sighed and shook her head. You have cleaned me out. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until next time. Unless that is, you accept a show as payment. She whipped her oversized hips suggestively. When I gulped in response, she laughed and said she was only kidding. Richard Slayer. We got 21 food out of that. So yeah, we're almost done with um reclaiming this place. Like really, I mean, reclaiming the mall at least. Okay, so the next stop we're going to go to is we're going to go kill these zombies off, even though we don't know what's there yet, because um, I'm Batman, and fuck you, and clean some shit. God, I hate recording by myself. It's like, I don't know what to talk about. Like, you guys should give me suggestions on what I should actually talk about, so I'm just not rambling on and on and on and on and on like jackass. Well, today you probably saw like me dropping all these new games or whatever that these games that you've never seen me play before. Well, it's because I went on a Steam rampage and I bought everything I could. Well, like I said, I wasted fifty dollars worth of games. This was like fifteen. Or Ten, I don't remember. Okay, yeah, we can kill it together, but we, there's not enough of us, we're not that trained, actually, to, um, kill. Hey, 
illness strikes. Is bleeding from the eye normal? Jonas started doing it recently, but without a hospital, we got no way to treat it. So, in our next video, we're going... Injured while killing zombies. Okay. In our next video, we are going... We're not making this, actually. Some of us might actually die in this attack. It's the sad part. Shit. Who died? Someone died while I was killing that zombie. I don't know who, but damn. It's a shame. Fuck. So we're gonna have to go find some new people. So yeah, we're going to reclaim this farm place so that our food levels go up a bit. And then we're going to end this video. Hopefully there's no more zombie fucking attacks. Like, they're just so annoying in my opinion. Like, it's just like, since... I mean, as the levels can even I tried pretty easy before this, like a couple days ago, because I was I, I play rebuild games. It's just that this is like the brand new one, so I didn't know what to expect. So yeah, it was like it was even challenging at pretty easy, no lie. And then it goes pretty easy, pretty tough. No, pretty easy, pretty tough, kind of tough, um, hard, extremely hard, um, troubling, challenging. <laughs> Impossible. How much time do we have left, actually? Working on 16, huh? Okay, so yeah, this has been an episode of Rebuild. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below suggesting what we should do next. I should do next. And also check out Taiki's channel. And remember, guys, stay awesome, Gotham. Peace.